A man from Baymanette convicted last month for exposing himself at the Baymanette Walmart has been arrested again, this time in Spanish Fort, and it may be just the tip of the iceberg. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live from Baldwin County. And Debbie, this crime has been called disturbing and disgusting, and that may not even begin to cover it. That's true. The police say that Marcus McKillian not only exposed himself at dozens of retail shops, but he also recorded it on his phone, then uploaded those videos to porn sites. There could be dozens and dozens of victims. Marcus, what were you doing? What were you thinking? 24 year old Marcus McKillian is back in handcuffs, charged with exposing himself at a retail shop on the Eastern Shore. On top of exposing himself, he was performing a sexual act on himself in public, in the store, at one of the aisles. And it wasn't the first time. Last month in Bay Manette, he was arrested and convicted of indecent exposure after an incident at Walmart. That's when police got his phone and discovered McKillian had recorded what he was doing. There are multiple videos and um, it is despicable uh, and disturbing to see what he was doing. Chief Barber says McKillian uploaded those videos to porn sites on the internet. There's a lot of these videos that depict very explicit things that he was doing in public. Uh, my concern is that in a very short period of time, the videos were showing perhaps that he was becoming more brazen per video. Uh, there were, are victims that are victims of more than indecent exposure. After a second conviction for indecent exposure, subsequent charges become felonies. And Barber believes the only way McKillian will be stopped is for more victims to come forward. Disturbing and disgusting. I, I just cannot believe he would be doing these type of acts in public. Uh, that's somebody's daughter, somebody's wife, mother, could be my wife. At last check, McKillian was still behind bars tonight. Police say the more victims that come forward, the better chance they have that he will stay there. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.